Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to show you a few different ways on how to clean your Lebray piercing. Now, this goes for any lip piercing, but this one is centered around my Lebray because it is my newest piercing. I did do a video on my channel of me getting it done, you know, showing that whole process, marking the, um, the clamps, oh my gosh, I couldn't think of the word. And I also took you through the first week of the healing process. So if you guys have not seen that video, it is up on my channel. We take you through, you know, day one all the way through day seven. And I have had this piercing for about two weeks now that I am recording this part of it. And I wanna show you how I have been cleaning it and how I've been taking care of it. So the first thing is oral hygiene. Brush your teeth two times a day. Really make sure you're getting all of your teeth, your gums, and especially behind the lip where your lip piercing is. That is very, very important. Now, you want to make sure you are using a new toothbrush, a soft bristled toothbrush, and you want to go around where your lip is. So kind of what I am doing in this clip. It's not the most flattering or cute thing I've ever done on the internet, but it's effective and you need to do this because it makes sure you're getting all that bacteria off. Also, the other important thing is mouthwash. I use the Crest Pro Health Clean Mint alcohol-free mouthwash. Alcohol-free is very important. If you do not have alcohol-free, it's not a huge deal. Just make sure you are diluting it with water 50-50. So this mouthwash, you're gonna wanna use every morning, every night, every time after you eat something, drink something other than water and smoke. Now, you don't have to do this for the entire life of the piercing but during that crucial healing stage mouthwash is definitely important it'll kill all of those germs around the inside of the piercing because with oral piercings you want to clean the inside and the outside so it's a lot more work than anything else Now I'm gonna show you a couple different ways on how you can clean the outside. Now keep in mind that what I'm doing in this video is overkill, okay? I'm only cleaning it this much just to show you guys different ways to clean it. I do not do this every single day, okay? What I'm doing in this video is way too much cleaning. I'm just showing you different things that I do to take care of it all in one video, if that makes sense. So to clean the outside of it, before you do that, number one, make sure you wash your hands with antibacterial soap for at least 30 seconds. And to clean the outside of it, I'm going to be using my Neil Med Piercing Aftercare Spray. You can get this on many different like websites. I got this one off of Amazon. You can get it on Lulu's. Um, a lot of different body jewelry sites carry this kind of thing. Oh, I also forgot to say with the mouthwash, make sure you are swishing the mouthwash in your mouth for at least 30 seconds as well. So, you know, do your ABCs count to 30, whatever you gotta do, just make sure you're doing it for an appropriate amount of time. So the thing I like most about this spray is the nozzle on it. You can use it if it's upside down, diagonal, inverted angles. That's why I like this spray so much because sometimes you have to kind of get it at a weird angle for it to work right. So this is the best one for that. So to clean the outside of it, I basically just grab a clean tissue, hold it underneath my chin, and I spray the outside of the piercing with this spray really effective it keeps it really clean so i will do this one to two times a day to keep it clean and you can also do the same thing on the inside um, you can use this spray in your mouth i don't particularly love this method because i don't really like the way that it tastes but um i just wanted to show you that for an option as well you can also use a q-tip to clean the outside of it as well um, a lot of people frown down on Q-tips when it comes to cleaning piercings, but I've personally never had an issue with it. This is just another option you can use to help clean it and get rid of the crusties. And then the very last way I'm gonna show you how you can clean it, this is most effective in the shower, 
but again you're going to want to keep a bottle of antibacterial soap in the shower and you're going to want to scrub well not scrub but lightly clean the outside of it with the antibacterial soap now i'm not going to take you in the shower with me obviously so i'm going to show you outside of the shower so get the area nice and wet use the antibacterial soap and lightly wash the outside of it i'm being a little bit more rough i guess than i usually would because it is healing and i'm not having any pain so i just make sure that i'm going around the barbell around the entry making sure that i'm getting it nice and clean making sure i'm getting all of those crusties off and then you're going to want to rinse it really really well with water and you're also going to want to make sure that you dry it really really well Oxygen is gonna be your number one healer for all of this. And don't use a nasty used hand towel. Paper towel is the best, but if you have to use a hand towel, make sure it is a new, clean, dry one. And just make sure you lightly dab it dry. You don't want any leftover water hanging out there. Alrighty guys, and those are all of the ways that you can clean your lip piercing yourself at home for a smooth and fast healing process. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a huge thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Happy healing! Bye!